Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to resolve it if you're noticing your Ethernet does not have a valid IP configuration. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off click on the start button one time and type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and select run as administrator. If you are prompted with a user account control window, go ahead and select yes. Now there's going to be a few commands we're going to run in this tutorial and I'm going to have them up on the screen so just pay attention to what I'm typing in here. And the first one's going to be NETSH space WINSOCK W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset another space catalog so again N-E-T-S-H space WINSOCK space reset space catalog exactly as it appears on my screen once you have it as you see it here you want to hit enter on your keyboard to run this should come back with successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset so in your case I would suggest restarting your computer and once that is done and your computer has rebooted relaunch the command prompt window you see here and then we're going to go type in NETSH space INT space IPv4 space reset space reset dot log exactly as it appears on my screen so again NETSH then a space INT then another space IPv4 another space reset another space reset dot log hit enter on your keyboard Again, it's going to ask you to restart your computer to complete this action. So, would suggest restarting your computer this time. And then, once you're done with that, you should just be able to close out of the command prompt. Restart your computer. Hopefully, that would have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to go open up the Star menu and type in Device Manager. Best manager, go back with Device Manager right above Control Panel. So, go ahead and just left click on that. Expand the network adapter section, so go ahead and double click on it. And now whatever your main gigabit connection is, so there might be multiple mini ports listed under here, we're primarily concerned with whatever our network connection is under here. So we're just going to go right click on it. And select uninstall device. It's going to say you're about to uninstall this device from your system. Select uninstall. So once that's done, close out of here, you will need to restart your computer and then you might have to enter back in your login credentials for your Wi-Fi. Then you might have to enter back in your credentials for your Ethernet connection, but you forget about it, you won't have to enter any credentials. So just restart your computer, hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. And if you do need to enter in any credentials, you might have to for your internet after you restart your computer. Probably won't, but just in case you might need that. Uh, one other thing you can try once you've restarted your computer and you're still having a problem would be to open up the star menu if you're on Windows 10. Type in reset network. Type in reset. Type in network reset. Best match should come back with network reset right above system settings. So go ahead and left click on that. This will apply for Windows 10 devices here. So. It says that this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Make sure you save and close out of any open programs and applications. Then select the Yes option here to reset our settings. You will need to restart your computer or you will be automatically signed out within five minutes. And that's pretty much it, guys. So restart your computer. Again, just giving you guys another option to explore. And hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.